us here on this end. David from Alberta, Canada. Welcome to Tales from the Golden Road. Thanks for waiting. Oh, thank you very much. I am uh, actually from Hamilton, Ontario, home of the infamous four Hamilton shows. All right. Which, uh, David, you I met you years ago in Berkeley at one of your book signings for Conversations with the Dead. Uh-huh. In the f- winter of 91, and I asked you if you thought the dead were coming back to Hamilton. You said that they had just announced the shows in 92, so that was great news for me back then. And since then, you just you last mentioned about the grassroots uh, element of music. That's where I'm. I'm on a tour right now. I'm in a solo band called Crystal Journey. I'm on a two and a half month tour, 52 shows in 65 days across Canada. Solo band. A solo band. I am booking agent. Uh, I'm my roadie. I'm my driver. I'm driving right now. I'm coming from a gig last night. I'm. Are you your own rhythm guitarist? (laughs) <laughs> I am Crystal Bull, Pisces, Planet Gongs, and Vibraphone. Nice. Wow. So I have uh, I have a large band filled with instruments that I set up every night and perform. I'm not I don't quite need a thousand people at my shows. It's you know fifty to. I don't either, but you know, I was dreaming big. What is the name I, of your act? Uh, I'm Crystal Journey in Canada. My website is crystaljourney.ca. Okay. And I started about seven years ago. You know the infamous words that. Uh, Mickey spoke after Jerry died. You know, we've given you the music. It's time for you to go out there and do something with it. Well, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm doing with it. You listen to Mickey Hart? Well, <laughs> that was know, some of the best advice he ever gave. No, it's after true. After Jerry yeah. died, I had to listen to somebody, and Mickey seemed, you know, it seemed like he knew what he was talking about. So, <laughs> oh well, like, that's your first I mistake. I got him to blame for what I'm doing, but no, I'm kidding. Matt, that is the other great piece of advice Mickey uh, I, I heard read in an interview once was get good parents. <laughs> he talked about he talked about how his parents were both military drummers and they made him a drummer. He said, "My advice to you is to get good parents." So that's two great pieces of advice from Mickey. Well, I can I have great parents too. They've supported my journey back in the day when I was following the dead. My dad, I was uh, following them in a in a rusty old pickup truck. I came home from a tour once, and he said, "You know, I think it's time we buy you a Volkswagen van." He bought me an '85 Westphalia, and I never looked back uh, with with what I do now. So I do have good parents, and, and, and I, as I mentioned, I listen to Mickey. I'd, I'd just like to share with, with you that at my shows, I perform uh, spoken words of, of the two verses of Dark Star, and I have to say that on any given night, my, my audience ranges from, you know, usually uh, people in their 20s and 30s right up to women in their 80s. So they ask, always ask me at the end of the night what it was that I spoke. Wait, I why said. only women in their 80s? Don't you let their, their boyfriends in? <laughs> well, I think they've probably passed on, and now they're just having a good time. So. Oh, it's a statistical <laughs> thing, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the crystal bowl really arouses them, you know, brings them back. To, uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, and I have, a, I have a, uh, a, a doll, that Jerry doll, that a friend of mine bought me years ago. I have that on the front of my vibraphone. And at the break and, and at the end of the night, I, you know, I have a mixed tape that I play just to kind of bring people back down here if I don't want it to be too uh, spiritual for people. But I play the dead and the Beatles and all that. And, and, and every night when I, I play the softer versions of, of Ripple and, and so many roads and, and Broke Down Palace. And every night somebody asks me, who is that band? Who is, what was that music? And I tell them it was the Grateful Dead. And anybody who's never heard them before but have heard the name, it's just incredible. They're synonymous with it being heavy metal or this this induced uh, cult life, which I guess it was in a, in a way, <laughs> in a positive way. And and I've had I've had people in their 60s, 70s, and 80s email me saying that you know they went to the record store and bought American Beauty after my recommendation, and, and it's one of their favorite favorite music. So You're doing some good me, some good missionary work out there. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, uh, if people want to check out CrystalJourney.ca. Um, I do come down to the States once in a while, but I'm, I'm on, in Western Canada. I'm hoping that David Lemieux will come to my show in Victoria. Uh, I met him on the Zep Tour in the spring. I, I sold him the tapestries that were on the tables for the, uh, for the CD tables at the shows. And I had a great time this past spring. I, I played one night at a yoga studio or a church, and then I saw the dead the next night, and I did that the whole tour, so it was a dream come true for me. Well, I love the idea of of you covering the music on this instrumentation because, you know, we all we, there's always this these uh, almost theological debates going on about how the music should be covered and should the guitar player sound like Jerry or should totally shun sounding like Jerry and and here's here's a way where you know the music is not going to sound imitative in any way because of this format you have and I I, I want to check it out. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, just playing. You know, 
speaking dark star to the vibraphone i i, I was a little intimidated at first because my my music is all instrumentation i don't do any uh, there's no singing or vocals but it just seems so appropriate with my work uh right now i'm doing a thing called journey through the solar system which again um, in the spring the mickey doing the the sounds from the solar system that's what my instruments do so just adding in the verses of dark star just seemed to fit and, and the whole elementals of of the planet song, Picasso Moon and Standing on the Moon, I, I think I'll add those in at some point and just, you know, pick a few verses here and there. And it's, it's just incredible. I, I, I owe the dead, uh, uh, you know, I guess my life for what I'm doing. It's, it's amazing. I'm driving down the Trans-Canada Highway heading to play in Jasper National Park at the foothills of the base of the oh, Rocky Mountains man. this afternoon. <laughs> it's I want to cool. be there. It's pretty cool. They, you guys, I, I invite you to come to a show. Come and, and bring your your mat, your uh, blanket, lie down, get blissed out. Uh, these instruments are incredible. And I'd love to send you a copy of my CD if you'd like. Just get my email off of my website, and I'll, I'll get that in the mail to you ASAP. I'm definitely taking you up on that. And vibraphone is one of my favorite instruments. Oh. I, I, I have... I have revered the great vibes player Gary Burton for many years, and and have seen him in concert many times. And uh, you know, I love I love the idea of, of of Grateful Dead music being translated to that. Listen, we've got a bunch of calls piled up. We thank you so much for calling. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great Please tour, man. Is awesome. Yeah. And uh, ha have a great tour. I wish I was with you out there, man. Western Canada sounds like a great place to be on the road. And since we were talking about Jasper National Park.